A man in India miraculously survived a car accident which left a three and a half foot iron rod impaled through his brain and skull. Mohammad Tariq, 24, underwent a successful surgery in West Bengal, Kolkata in India in an operation that lasted more than two and a half hours. Doctors and family members believe Tariq had no chance of survival. He was reportedly in a car with friends when the driver lost control of the vehicle and hit the median strip on the road. When Tariq arrived at the hospital's emergency ward, doctors realized they would have to perform the surgery blind. With an X-ray showing the rod passing straight through the front skull, brain, and back of the skull, a CT scan was not possible. The rod was eventually removed after an endoscopic procedure. Share this article Share Drive Binod Sinania said, the case was extremely tricky and difficult. The biggest challenge for us was to prevent excessive bleeding of the patient inside the skull. It could have led to his death due to the damaging of a large number of blood vessels. It was a good thing that the rod was not removed and the patent was brought to the hospital directly, else the patient could have bled to death. The hours-long operation was a huge success, and miraculously the patient survived as there are rare chances of survival for a patient who come with such conditions. There was no vessel damage, but the patient has a problem with the movement of his right limbs and with speech. The patient survived, that was the biggest thing, and the current condition can be treated with speech therapy and physiotherapy. The hospital authorities lauded the doctor's efforts and skill and said the patient's survival was a miracle. The family members of Tariq had almost lost all the hopes of his survival. A close cousin who has been taking care of Tariq at the hospital said when he got to the hospital he was bleeding profusely and was unconscious. Honestly, we had no hope of getting him back. But the doctors here acted as God, and with their sincere effort, we have got him back.